Hello people, you know who it is, it's Arsenal's Realist, yeah, and I'm the host, Banny Man Banner. Thank you for watching, and thank you for all the comments, and every view, and that's, thank you for all the negative comments as well, everyone, and I mean that genuinely. I suppose everyone is entitled to an opinion. Now, before we get into it today, people, as you can see, you can see the title, we're going to talk about Bellerin, I'm going to show you a clip, we're also going to talk about DT Sun and the fight he had, and he got knocked out, he, um, he lost the fight, we're going to talk about that. But, before we get into all of that, obviously, it's the Bellerin situation we're going to get into, people. And, now, I have had people messaging me lately saying, I'm just trying to use AFTV, I'm trying to grow off AFTV's back, I'm a leech, I'm this, I'm that, keyboard warrior, this and that. Now, like I said, everyone's got an entitled to their opinion, so I can't deny it. But, I'm not going to start denying it, I'm going to be truth truthful to you people now. As you're going to clock throughout when you don't know me throughout years and years and years. I will always be truthful. The bottom line is, am I you? How can... All right, maybe I am using Arsenal um, AFTV. But if I'm an Arsenal fan, and they're called Arsenal Fan TV, um, for the fans, by the fans, how can I possibly be using something? I am part of it. And this is what people tend to forget. Just because you see Robbie, DT, Troops, Lee, Claw, Ty... This is what I'm trying to say. Them six, seven, eight people don't represent the whole Arsenal fan base. So at the end of the day, yes, Arsenal Fan TV, and now it's abbreviations, AFTV, but that stands for the Arsenal fans. I'm an Arsenal fan. I can't use that. It's impossible, yeah? I'm part of that, whether they like it or not, yeah? Because as you see, the whole way, have you seen, the whole way as this has started, AFTV and everything, it's all based upon the fans and their opinion, whether it's right or wrong, as we know what they did. The mob mentality for the secondary issue and it's completely disappeared now and now they're reasonable pragmatic commentators giving tactics and um, um, whatever the fucking word is yeah giving their analysis even though that's not why they come up yeah no one listens to them for that yeah half of this not even half of their subscribers are arsenal it's just a football channel where loads of people subscribe and every time we do do bad their channel goes through the roof yeah it's a fact so People have been messaging me saying I'm using them, this and that and that and this. And I'm giving my opinion and my point of view. Just like they did when they were foaming at the mouth of Wenger. I called him a dog, a cunt, a prick. And they did say that because I'll show you that later on, yeah? And so, yeah, I'm just doing the exact same thing but for the right reasons now, yeah? I'm not allowing six, seven, eight, nine, ten people to be the voice of Arsenal, yeah? Arsenal fan TV for the fans, by the fans. No, it's not. It's the Robbie channel, yeah? For DT, Troops, Lee and all you, man, yeah? One, one of you's protested, the other one's going to buy all the kits. And watch when the season starts and all the videos kick off people, yeah? It's not going to be, they're not going to be going for Kroenke like they did for Wenger. Turkish won't be going for him like he did for Wenger. DT won't be going for him like he did for Wenger. No one's going to do it. So at the end of the day, that's my issue with them as well. That's another issue I've got. It's all good being gassed and giving it, giving it. I can show you in one of my interviews, yeah, at the end of the day. In one of Robbie's last interviews, I think it was in his last video, sorry, I think he says nothing's even changed. And what really has changed? Yeah, that's the point we try, I've been trying to make to you lot. You went for the secondary issue. He's gone now. Unai's in. And you're saying, what's really changed? What is it? You're creating content for yourself. You know nothing's changed because the system's still the same. Even Claude's talking a bit of poo lately about Lee Gunnar and he's saying that fucking he's only partly to bait. Listen, Claude's saying that he's, he blames the person who sold Cronky the shares. Yeah, they can, we can talk about that another day, yeah? She gets, you sold the shares to someone who's not a good businessman and is going to fuck us over. Yeah, that's definitely something to talk about. But why the fuck are we talking about that when this woman's nowhere even here now, Nina, whatever the fuck her name is? We need to go for the main problem, but they're never going to. So before I get into any more of it, people, I want to show you what Hector Bellerin had to say when he had an interview. I think it was at a university, Oxford University or something like that. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at what Hector Bellerin feels about AFTV. And don't forget, Hector Bellerin is friends with all the players. He sits in the rooms. He trains with them. Yeah, What he feels isn't just what he feels. It's what probably the whole team feels. Yeah, but we'll get into that in a minute. Let's have a look what Hector says. Um, what do you make of Arsenal Fan TV? And, sorry, <laughs> and do any players watch it or are you told not to watch it? Um, I don't think there's players that actually just got on the internet just so they're going to watch Arsenal Fan TV. It does sometimes pop up in your timeline. So, um, I mean, I've seen it sometimes. So I have friends that they've been like, oh, have you heard that, what, that guy on Arsenal Fan TV? Like, I think um, it's so wrong for someone that claims to be a fan and their success is fed of a failure 
So how can that be a fan? So I think there's just people um, hustling, trying to make money their way, which you know everyone is entitled to do. Um, but for us players, it doesn't affect us. Listen, if people want to have fun with it, let them have fun. But for us, you know, we just, as I said, um, when you grow, you just realise what's important for you to listen to and what not to take. You know, if a coach comes to me and tells me uh, you've done something bad, you've done something wrong, I'm going to take that advice. If I hear someone from Arsenal fan TV saying, like, oh, this guy needs to do this, this guy needs to do that, I'm not going to listen to him. But, um, you know, as I say, they're entitled of their opinion, the way they want to do it, and if people find it funny, then go and watch it. Now, that's Hector's opinion. Don't start messaging me saying I'm wrong, I'm this, I'm that. That's one of the players' opinion, yeah? A player who come to our club when he was young, he got put straight onto the match. I think it was against the Brossio Dortmund match. He played really well. He got thrown straight into the first team because our stupid owner don't invest. We got rid of Sanya, got Debussy in. Debussy jumped into an advertising sign. That's at the point when you need to reinvest. We didn't. And we got Hector Bellerin and yeah, we banged him on the right and that's his story from there. He's done well, he's come, he's adapted to England, he's been very interactive with the fans, he's given his all and he has made mistakes along the way. Some matches have been bad, some matches have been good. That's football, yeah, at the end of the day, yeah. So that's his opinion. He chills with all the players, he goes to have dinner with all the players, yeah. He knows them as friends, he knows, he knows the whole circle up to bottom and whether he's right or wrong or whatever you lot think he's right or wrong, AFTV fans I'm saying, that's his opinion, yeah, at the end of the day. And it's all good now, Robbie and DT and everyone's saying, we get the same views whether we win or we lose or draw, so what are they talking about? I'm sure there is a little bit of truth in that now. But we all fucking know the truth, yeah? When you lot was little and small, no one cared about you winning or the draws. It was all about losses. That's when they tuned in. So, I want to keep this one swift and quick, people. And, yeah, I was going to talk about Kieran. All I wanted to say was everyone's messaging me saying he got knocked out, this and that. I'm trying to use AFTV as my advantage to get views. If I wanted to, I would have edited a clip now of Kieran getting banged out. It would have just bare little clips of DT popping up saying, we're going to win. Then Kieran would have got punched in his mouth. But I would have edited and blown it would have been funny. But do you know what? I can only do what I believe in. And Kieran um, stood up for his dad. Everyone shouts at their dad and has arguments with their dad. He probably behind closed doors telling his dad to shut up, you dickhead, yeah? Talking all this shit all the time. But what I will say to Kieran is I respect any man who will get in the ring with someone twice their age or size. And he done his thing, so I respect him, but it's got nothing to do with his dad. His dad is talking about Arsenal and AFTV and going on like he knows everything and trying to get everyone sacked apart from Cronky, yeah? So... If I was a hater trying to make content for any old reason, I would have made a Kieran video. I would have made a Tyre video. I would have made Bear videos. But that's not what it is. Respect the young man for getting in the ring. He got punched up. That's how it goes sometimes when your dad talks rubbish. But, yeah, we all wish we had a son that would defend us like that, I suppose. But with everything said and done, people, I'm going to keep this one short because my videos, my last Gary Neville video was long. And, yeah, go and check that video out. Check them all out. I've got more videos coming. Somebody left me a comment saying... Do you do videos every day? I try to, I don't promise to, but we're getting better. We've just started slowly, slowly. We are going to be fully set in stone and we are going to be a huge channel very soon, people. So if you feel like it, press the subscribe button. This is just a quick one and I've noticed my battery's dying, so I'm talking really fast because I just want to get this done before it cuts out. So thank you people for watching. Like I said, me, Hector Bellerin, Gary Neville, Ian Wright, Robert Perez, all of us, or do you believe DT and Lee? <laughs> Say no more, people. Arsenal's Realist, subscribe, check out my previous videos. Thank you very much. See you soon.